chicken French is a dish that originated in Rochester, New York in the 1970s. It's an adaption from veal French, which came here from New York City. A local chef substituted chicken for veal, which was cheaper and less ethically objectionable. We're going to start by mincing some shallots, nice and fine. And then we're going to mince up some garlic. Just one clove will do. Now we'll cut our chicken breasts into cutlets by carefully slicing through the middle of them. Keep your fingers out of the way. Isabel? It's raw, no, it's raw chicken. I'm going to add some grated Pecorino Romano cheese to the egg mixture and stir it in really well. Now on to the batter. Coat your chicken evenly with flour mixed with kosher salt and black pepper. Dip the chicken into the egg mixture, then move it to a tray or platter to make it easier to put into the pan. Now we add some olive oil to the hot pan and carefully lay our chicken into the pan. Listen to that sizzle. Let the chicken cook for a few minutes and then carefully turn it over. Look at that nice brown color we're getting. Now transfer your chicken into a 225 degree oven. Repeat the process with the remaining chicken cutlets and move those into the oven as well. Put some butter in the pan and then add your shallots and garlic. Stir those for about 30 seconds until they're nice and fragrant. Add your white wine and lemon juice to deglaze. Stir over medium high until this is reduced to about two tablespoons. Now we add our chicken broth and we reduce and stir that. Now we're going to add some freshly ground black pepper, or a lot of pepper. To thicken the sauce, we're going to add a slurry of flour and water. Eyeball it and add as much as you think you need. We're going to mount the sauce with butter, which means adding butter about a tablespoon at a time. Then we use our whisk to incorporate that butter into the sauce. Then we tried to play a little game of catch the butter with your whisk. Usually doesn't work out. So just stir it in as best as you can. Check the temperature of your chicken with a digital thermometer to make sure it's done. Add some more Pecorino Romano to the sauce. Stir that in to make sure it's thoroughly combined. It's important to feed family, so here I am serving my mom the piece of chicken that she picked out herself. Chicken French. Look at that crispy egg batter. Look at that golden, delicious, rich sauce with butter and Pecorino Romano cheese and balanced with acidic notes from the white wine and lemon. Chicken French, do it.